Hi, my name is Anand. I'm a, an extended fourth year student here, um, meaning that I actually took an extra year between my third and fourth year, and I chose to do that because of research. Um, one thing I love about UMass is that the administration here is really flexible to those of us who want to spend some time doing something extra, doing something interesting uh, beyond the medical school curriculum. Um, a lot of students choose to do a fifth year or um, for, for various reasons. One reason could be to travel. Um, one of our students is doing a Fogarty Fellowship out, uh, out in South America and another student is, um, is traveling in India and so we have a lot of different reasons. I chose to do it because um, I've always enjoyed research and wanted to spend sort of more than just a simple summer doing it and I wanted to spend a total of a full year doing it. So um, I, once I knew what I wanted to do at the end of third year I decided to you know, talk to a professor in that field and go ahead and do the research and um, I got things set up really fast. It was very easy to extend. Um, they almost don't deny anybody and uh, it was, uh, and so far it's, it's worked out great. What was your research in? So my research was in the Department of Surgery. Uh, we'd look at surgical outcomes for various procedures. Uh, we use large national databases and uh, basically, you know, there'll be a large, huge database and we pick a single procedure or two procedures and basically look at outcomes for various reasons, looking at hospital volume, laparoscopy, or um, things like whether or not there are disparities, um, socioeconomic disparities, racial disparities. So uh, it was basically a lot of outcomes policy-based research, which I thought was very unique, um, uniquely available here at this school. All right, thank you. Sure. Uh, something I liked about UMass when I came to visit and one of the things that sold the school to me was the ability to do research after my first year of medical school. Uh, I think UMass is kind of unique in that we have so many professors studying so many different areas of medicine that it's really easy to find something you're interested in and then find a professor who's studying that. Uh, for me, it was just as simple as just emailing a woman who's studying uh, autoimmunity, a specific type that I'm interested in, and setting up an appointment. We talked, and I'm able to work to, for, with her over the summer. The school is actually providing the stipend through a summer research program, so she doesn't have to provide it uh, out of her own grant money, which is really attractive for her as well. And then in the end of August, I'll present my research at a poster session along with all the other medical students who do the same thing as well as their international opportunity students. So uh, yeah, it's something that I'm really excited for. So I've been asked to tell you why MD-PhD students should come to UMass. Well, let's look at what Wikipedia says about UMass's research. So it says, UMass faculty discovered the link between the immune system and type 1 diabetes, developed cancer detection technology, found the genetic cause that underlies the third most common form of muscular dystrophies, established the fundamental difference between HIV and other retroviruses, and co-discovered RNAi interference. Now, one thing our genetics professor said to us at the beginning of the year was a quote from Wayne Gretzky when he was asked what made him such a good hockey player. And he said, I skate where the puck is going to be. Now you look at UMass, you look out the window and you see a brand new clinical research building. You see the LRB which was put up in 2002 and there's a one billion dollar grant for a brand new building connecting the medical school to the LRB for RNAi research, gene therapy, and um, stem cell research. And I have a question for you. Do you know where the puck's gonna be? I think I do, and it's at UMass. Thanks a lot, that was great. So you uh, referenced Wikipedia. Yep, yep, Wikipedia is an excellent source for all research and you can cite it as much as you want. It's often incorrect too. Yep. All right, thanks.